right, Miss Universe. So the most beautiful woman in the world. Go off to this beauty pageant, very famous beauty pageant. And it turns out that, that a trans woman has won Miss Netherlands beauty pageant. Now, as a woman, I am thinking to myself, what does this say for women? Mm. You know, are we now competing? Are these women competing with trans women, men? What is going on here? I mean, what, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, it's hard in my view to actually argue that the, the transgender woman in question was the most eligible for the reward itself. Because, I mean, as you and, and viewers are, are well aware, Sarah, I'm not ex exactly well versed in, in female attractiveness. But actually, if you look at this, it, this trans woman, this trans woman looked like Freddie Mercury in a dress when they <laughs> smiled. You know, they've, they've got this big set of gnashes like Freddie did. <laughs> And I just thought, hang on a minute, this is clearly, uh, this is about diversity and inclusion, right? This is about looking good to the international community. This isn't about putting yeah. forward the best candidate for the role. This Ricky Valerie Cole, I think, I think I'm pronouncing the, the name correctly. Th they actually said in their remarks, their celebratory remarks, that being equal means having access to healthcare, playing in sports and performing in roles that cisgender women, it's a term that I reject, and I think all women ought to, too. And until that's achieved, we're not all equal. Well, I don't know what human rights in the Netherlands, they aren't allowed over there if they're trans people compared to the rest of the population. But I'm pretty certain that there aren't any. And, of course, what that would mean in practice is that men get access to sex-specific health care. We'll get so-called women being brought in for a smear test you know, to compete against biological women in sports. And I assume being asked to play roles like being a mother and all of the other integral parts of womanhood, of being a woman. And I think that's what's at risk here, Sarah. I think the fundamental key tenets of being a woman are being denigrated at every twist and turn of this sorry saga. And there's a whole list of things. But I mean, speaking to you personally, do you feel that there's a wider agenda here? Absolutely. I mean, I can't pinpoint precisely what it is, but there is most definitely, particularly for the last two years, been this agenda to kind of um, sort of like make the woman, I think, feel as if she's not really a woman. That's just how it feels to me. Or feel that, you know, the woman is on par with the trans woman. And I don't agree with that at all. I don't think that that is the case at all. And I think there are millions of women out there who would agree. But if you say anything about it, then you can expect plenty of backlash. That's what I found. Absolutely. And, and this is, of course, you know, so soon after we saw the complete baffling spectacle of a ITV news package with a trans woman as a mother, right, who was posting photographs. So you'll have seen them breastfeeding a child. Now, you know, trans people are pumped full of hormones and all sorts that I doubt this breast milk, Sarah, is remotely nutritious, right? It'll be like potato yeah. water with extra hormones, not exactly <laughs> the the key parts of nu essential nutrients that a child needs. But we've even seen a cervical cancer charity brand a vagina as a bonus haul. Now, I cannot, it's a disgusting, it's a disgusting turn of phrase. But imagine that, the female genitalia relegated to being a bonus hole as opposed to being a, a fundamental part of, of what makes us the human race, right? Reproduction, what makes mothers, what makes sisters, aunties, nieces, women in general, reduced to being branded as a bonus hole. I, I think it's crass. I think it's cheap. And I think it's cruel, actually, because I think women are being gaslit here. That's what's going on. Women are being convinced that the, the, the key beliefs that we've accepted around sex and gender for many a year now aren't worth a damn. That being a woman isn't worth a damn. I think it's rank misogyny. I think it is disgusting. And imagine seeking help, Sarah, if you, God forbid you ever do, but if you were to say, you know, I, I want to go in and I want to get checked and, and get some help from this cervical charity, only to find that a, a core part of you is, is to be called your bonus hole to appease men who are playing the role of women. I find it a fundamentally repugnant charge. 
Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.